But Blue grew up in a, a little old bitty small country ass town out here, somewhere down in West Texas, with nothing but population. But 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 your best, you know, one of the dudes said on my thing, he called himself a honky. But the best, but the best neck set, the best red necks you can find. You know the best, the best uh colorblind neck. Say nothing but the white boys. Uh, I guess the lady uh you know in the trailer home, straight straight the whole the whole little piece of city, the whole ten and fifteen people that stayed there. You no know, black ends up blue. Um, mom ends up sleeping off. Um, <coughs> fornicating on the other side, crossing the tracks. And when she crossed the tracks, she went black and she didn't come back. But she ended up with a cake in the oven. But now she got to go back over to the the other side and explain to them, bitch. You know I know. Now what they did, they hid blue away from the community as a child. I know these things. Cause me and blue had millions of talks at night, long talks. And when blue came back, and this gonna fuck y'all up. When Blue was down there, everybody treat, treated Blue, kept Blue away from everything. Let me tell y'all something. Blue started getting in trouble because Blue didn't understand who he was. Blue was a, was a half-breed. Mm. Jim Crow law say if you got, damn, you got 1% black blood, then you a nigga. That's anywhere the fuck you go. We don't give a fuck what. That's the law. <laughs> if you have 1% of black blood in you, uh, you a nigga. So, Blue don't understand, although your mama and them, everything you just grew up looking at is white, 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 because they never took them around black, because that's the kind of community they was in. They hid Blue in the house for years. When Blue came out, Blue got in trouble. Blue got sent to the penitentiary, and guess what? Blue thought he was white. Say, this is the fucked up thing y'all ever want to hear, nigga. Blue used to sit at the table with the white boys every day and talk white. Blue had the accent, that shit. He didn't play. He wasn't playing. He, hey, Percy. Man, you better quit talking like that, whole ass nigga. What's wrong with him? Blue don't understand. And guess what? The white boys at the table been talking to Blue. You know, we don't fuck with people. I don't fuck with people time. Nigga, you do your time who you want to do your time with. I ain't, ain't my motherfucking business. I'm doing mine. You heard? You get fuck who you, you sitting around. Man, why nigga always sitting around there? Why they always over? And that, that's good shit. Nigga, why? They don't do, I don't get into all of that. I'm a whole gangster in that motherfucker. Nigga, I'm locked up. Mad at the world, nigga. Don't say shit to me and her. That's how I was. Big ass, yeah, that was me. But anyway, uh, Blue said the text. So one day, you know, I'm like, goddamn, Blue. Man, how did you one time? We was talking to the person, man, you be hooping. I seen you out there hoop. You can rap too, guy. You can rap. I said, man, why the fuck you keep talking like that, nigga? The fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I'm just saying, Percy, you, you know. Nah, Blue, you can cut that shit out, nigga. And, and, what, what? and Blue told me right out of his mouth. He said, what's your specs? Hell, I'm white. I said, I know this motherfucker didn't. I know Blue didn't. Sad thing was, in Blue County, they isolated Blue from the white folks and that motherfucker. They, Blue just put him in lockdown. All he knew, he was in jail. They just thought this jail. He didn't see niggas till he came to the penitentiary. <laughs> Blue is around his own color and don't even know that's his real color. Y'all think this is a fucking story. This ain't no game. You can't make shit like this up. You dig what I'm saying? They don't make shit. Like